Hello, my dear students. This is Lina Abdullah, your IT teacher. Welcome you in our weekly video where I'm going to introduce week four, which will be from September 24th to September 27, 28. We are not sure yet because we have a holiday this week. What we are going to cover this week, we will start or actually will continue with form functions and formulas where we go over the lookup function and we'll start with the VLOOKUP function. What the VLOOKUP function will do? VLOOKUP function is a function used to search for a value in the first column of a table array and returns a value in the same row from another column in the spreadsheet table. This uh, VLOOKUP function is a useful one where you can use it to search for specific data from a group of data. We can call it an array to return what we are looking for it exactly. And it's very useful when we are dealing with different sheets or a huge amount of data. In this lesson, we are going to uh, recognize the lookup function and apply the VLOOKUP function to search for a value where we have different resources and let's say tutorials will help us to understand more where you have tutorial to show you how to use the VLOOKUP function also, we have certain steps we can do from our book, and we have another tutorial also to make sure that we gain the skills with a little bit more details. And also, we have more activities from our book to do. We have more uh, online activities uh, for further practice and self-assessment to learn more. And of course, you have to be able after that to recognize between VLOOKUP and HLOOKUP. In our second lesson, we'll continue with the lookup function, but we'll start with HLOOKUP function, which will help us to search for a value in the top row of a spreadsheet table and return a value in the same column from another row in the spreadsheet table. And here, as all the lessons, we have specific pages you can return for or refer for to go with the topic we are going to cover uh, also we have more as all other classes we have our objectives we have more tutorials about it and uh, more practice from our book from online resources from online activities and so on after we finish the two lookup functions or the two types of lookup function the vlookup and hlookup we'll start with a new types uh, type of function which we call database function with the database function you will see that the function there depends on the criteria it can be one criteria it can be more than one criteria with the relation of and or where you can uh, use it uh, apply the database functions we will uh, this week we'll cover two database function the first one is the dsum function, which will use it to add numbers in a field, column, or a database that meets given criteria. And of course, we'll use also with it the dmin function to retain the smallest number in the field, column, in a list, or database. Based also on a given criteria, and like all other classes, uh, we have more tutorials, we have more activities to help us understand more about our lesson. Uh, then after that, we'll go with the dmax function and the average mark functions, which are uh, another two database functions, uh, which we help, we can use it. Uh, we can use, for example, the d average function to find the average for a group of number based also on a given, given criteria. So I can only find the average for certain group of data, depends on the criteria I'm using. Also, it's the same for the Dmax, where I'm looking for the highest one within a group of data. Um, also, we'll continue in the same way to make sure that you will understand what do we have. Uh, this was our summary for this week. I wish everything is clear. If you have more, uh, any question or you need more details, just contact me anytime. Thank you, my dear students.